I you know, uh, thought uh, you know, one of the best, uh, you know, two halves of basketball that we played. And I think, you know, our zone bothered them in the game and um, it was effective. Uh, we finally shot the ball uh, pretty well, 47%, which is nice to see, 85% from the foul line. Um, did a nice job, I thought, defensively. We took care of the basketball. Um, only had 11 turnovers. I think that may be a season low for us. Only had five in the first half. So, uh, and, uh, you know, we got Coastal. I mean, they're a good basketball team. We got them on a good night for us. Um, they were not sharp and missed a lot of shots and turned the ball over uh, against us. But, uh, you know, uh, I've got a lot of respect for them. Obviously won 28 games last year. Uh, nine and one coming in here with victories over an SEC and an ACC team. So um, um, I told our kids that was a terrific win, and um, you know, I would build them up pretty much because I because I believe that they're a really good basketball team. But uh, um, you know, I thought we did a lot of nice things, and we got what we needed. I think what we're going to have to have for us to be effective is you know four guys uh, scoring for us, and Shamar and Kemp. Uh, at the third and fourth scoring spot, did a nice job for us. And we got solid play off the bench. And, uh, you know, you might not look at the numbers but uh, and, and see big things, but uh, I thought Corvon did a nice job for us. He was solid defensively, rebounding and, and, and guarding, handling the ball uh, out there. And, uh, um, you, know, our, you know, our depth was a factor in the game. Coach Ellis mentioned that he expected zone. He didn't expect it that early. Was that something that you changed in game, or had you planned on going to it that early? Well, we looked at, you know, we worked on it the last couple of days. We thought this may be a good team to zone. They're very good in their man to man stuff. We wanted to try to keep Morrow out of early foul trouble. Uh, their inside guys are very effective in man to man, both scoring or shooting over 60% from the field. Uh, so, um, you know, that bothered them. They didn't get in any kind of flow. We did mix man and zone in there, so it kept them off balance a little bit. But uh, we were able to play a lot of zone because we scored, you know, a lot. So uh, um, you know, that's certainly helpful to be able to set our defense. And I thought, you know, I, you know, in the first half, if we would have gotten to some of the 50-50 balls and gotten some rebounds, we could have had a you know 20, 22 point lead at half. Instead, we didn't make some plays, didn't get some of those balls. It's a 12-point game in half, and, uh, you know, they're right there, a couple of plays, and they're back in the game. And, uh, um, you know, luckily the second half, we, we kept it pretty comfortable for the entire second half. Team found the comfort level really early and shot the ball well. Uh, what were you thinking over there on the bench with all this? Well, it's just nice going, seeing them go in. Again, I think that we can, you know, we can score the ball a lot better than what uh, that we've shown to date. And there's just some guys getting – Getting comfortable, and we still think there's a lot more guys down there that 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 you haven't seen the best of yet. Um, you know, shooting the basketball and scoring the ball. So, uh, had two good days of practice, and I told the guys, you know, you have that's usually a good indication of how you're going to play. So, um, and we played well. So, that works. That works out sometimes. I they, that what happens is what I say. <laughs> it's every once in a while. Good, right? That's right. Coach the. Maybe the confidence factor coming out of Greensboro, you come from behind on the road, and then you at a time of year where the focus is primarily basketball. Just talk about those factors. Well, it was big for us. I mean, that was you. We really needed uh, to win uh, against Greensboro, and the way we did it, I thought, you know, was I think our kids, you know, we've been in a lot of close games, and we, we didn't win those close games, and uh, we made rallies back and had chances, but didn't win them. And, and you always worry about the psyche of a 18 to 21 year old. Uh, there when things don't go the way that they'd like. So um, that was big for us in, in our practices, and we came back with energy and enthusiasm in practice, and a lot to do with you know a, coming off of a win. So um, it was nice, nice to see that. Well, Shamar, obviously you were feeling it. Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about how you're kind of getting a little confidence as you go along through the season. It was clicking tonight, obviously. Just talk about your game and how important it was to beat Coastal. Uh, uh, it's a big game because uh, Coastal. Uh, I think they came in into the into this game nine and one, and uh, Coach Lebo talked about how they beat a few big teams like they beat LSU, uh, they beat Clemson at Clemson. You know, it's a pretty good program, good prestige, uh, good reputation going around, and you know they've been getting talked about some on ESPN for having one of the best records nine and one. So it was a big game for us coming in here. You know, we had the home court advantage. I feel like it was a good win. We had a good team effort.
Uh, everybody played well. Everybody did their role. And I mean, we've been working hard, so I think we just we get better and better. Miguel, it seemed like when you got some shots down early, the whole team uh, seemed to calm down uh, on the offensive end of the floor for the rest of the evening. Um, yeah, uh, Coach Lebo was a great guard. Well, was a great guard. He still is. And he's been talking to me about making my reads quick. And I think the last two games I've been more decisive with my reads and with Shamar and Demo and them rolling and pip, picking and popping. I'm, I'm giving them the ball quicker and letting them do what they do best. So I think we're just going to keep moving forward from this. When the ball's not sticking too much in my hand like it was early in the beginning, everybody's starting to get more comfortable with each other. And we always play great D. The offense is still coming along. It's, it's amazing what we can do and how far we still got left to go. So we just keep working every day. Our defense is pretty good. We still working on that too. But our offense, if that comes and our defense stays how it is, we can be special. Shamar, are you doing anything differently here the last few weeks? Um, I, th I think it might be a combination of three things. Uh, I've been I've been praying. <laughs> I've been getting up extra shots. Like I come in and shoot on the gun. And I think the third thing is like what he just said, him finding me. Like uh, it's, it's important that as a point guard, you know, in, I mean, everybody in general, like even centers, for as a team, when people find you right when you open, because when somebody gets you the ball in rhythm, that's how you get a rhythm, like that's how you get shots and you start making shots, you get a rhythm going. So I think it's probably a combination of three things. I mean, me being, me praying and getting extra shots and him finding me. You never let them get a run in response after you got a lead, really. I think they did. Uh, cut it from 22 to 15, but then you hit a three, and you all scored another basket. And we'll talk about that because that really is a sign of a boys team that doesn't let a, let a team back into the game. Um, yeah. Well, uh, coach, he. He preaches defense. You can ask him why. We uh, when it's time to work with offense and offensive plays, that's limited. So in practice with defense, it's, he tells us basketball is games and runs. We have to find a way to stop theirs before it gets going. And um, I just credit our, our defense. We all help each other. When one person moves, it's like a rope. Everybody moves, and we all talk. And I I think it's a thing. A uh, combination of us always being together. You see Shamar, you see me, the whole team. We're always together talking about how we can get better. So I see nothing but positive things um, in the future for us. And then uh, another thing with uh, runs, when we played, like our last game against UNCG, they went up on a, they, they actually went up 10 on us. And like us being poised and being in certain situations before, early in the past, like playing at ODU at Campbell, I think we're getting better, like being able to adjust to that, to that pressure of being maybe down 10 with six minutes. Like we know how to handle that situation. Well, first of all, commend East Carolina. I thought their zone just stymied us. That's the, the the bottom line as they came out, played zone, played it pretty much the whole game. And, you know, we didn't handle it well from two sides. Number one, in the first half, we had 12 turnovers. That led to 17 points, and that was that was the difference in the first half. You add to that three for 21 shooting, and uh, it doesn't add up to a good recipe, I can tell you that. Uh, so anyway, uh, they shot the ball better. We out, we we, re, we out rebounded the team, but uh, those turnovers in the first half, and I'm not just talking about our guards. We were just uh, we were just, we were turnover turnover prone, and uh, they turned them into easy baskets, and we didn't shoot the ball. And I could sit here and you could put your arms around a lot of things, but that's the game. Turnovers in the first half and poor shooting. Bottom line. Did you expect zone? Because Coach Lebo's run a lot right. of man to man. Yeah, but. wasn't expecting it that early. Yeah. Wasn't expecting it that early. And it's long. You know, it's a good zone. I think you'll have some success with that at home. Yeah. I don't know about the road, but at, uh, at home, him, him being long. But we got it where we wanted to get it, except turning it over, you know. Yeah. Turning it over, not making shots. I hope it's a bad night. I mean, you know, I need to see the film. I mean, but, you know, we hadn't played that poorly this year. That's the, that's the poorest we played. But we're going to have to resolve the zone. I can tell you that. You knew about Paul, obviously, and what he created. Yes. But Bowden was the guy that really kind of hurt you from beyond the Yeah, end. and knew, knew that he could do it. If you give him space, he's going to knock it down. Uh, he did that at Charlotte. That's what he does. And, uh, you know, I like him and Strawn on the wings with Paul. You know, they got three threats out there. And then Morrow inside. You know, I think uh, 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 Kemp, uh, Sampson, Steed. You know, that, that that they've got depth. They're going they're going to win Conference USA. They'll win some games. You know. Team building on six 
16 to 6 early in the ball game. Talk about what that did to uh, their shooting rhythm and just coming from behind all of a sudden early in the ball game. Well, you know, again, they established the first five minutes, but it was our turnovers that was creating that. You know, we hadn't shot it enough to say we were shooting it poorly, but I thought turnovers just opened it up. Really did. Did you feel like the turnovers were something that y'all were doing yourself, or was it their defense that was, was combination? I think we had some unforced turnovers. I did, and uh, but you got to give them credit for forcing some of it. How's this East Carolina team compared to some of the teams that you faced so far this year? Some of the better teams. Well, tonight they played better than anybody we've played. <laughs> tonight, you know, and that's all I can base it on. You know, that's all I can base it on. Played better than anybody we've played thus far.